What's up boys and girls, Leafer back on a tutorial and in this video I'm going to show you how to sculpt an entire Lego hairpiece out of clay. Uh, oven baked clay, Fimo, that's the one that I use, soft. I haven't tried the classic one, apparently the classic one is supposed to be really hard from what I hear. And since Fimo is from uh, Germany I believe, which makes this a European clay. So for people who live in the States it's kind of hard to get, but I've read that Primo is supposed to be a really good clay. So. If you can't find Fimo, get Primo. I've read that it's really good, very durable and stuff like that. So, Now, I recently started sculpting with colors. And the reason for that is because the kind of varnish that I use when I paint the clay and stuff like that, it's not tacky or anything, but you can scratch it off if you have nails. Like, I don't have any nails at all. So, yeah. So, yeah, that's no problem for me. But if I would scratch it with enough force by accident... It would peel off, and that's not something that I want for my customs. So that's why I decided getting blue, green, yellow, and red. Pretty basic colors. You can mix them really well, so I don't have to worry about painting them or varnishing them afterwards. But if you want to varnish them, sure. I'm not sure which one you should use though. Maybe Fimos. I haven't tried that one or anything like that. So, yeah, maybe I should, but whatever. Uh, this is what works for me now, and I like it. So enough about that. Let's just get into it. And what I'm going to sculpt in this video is um, Todoroki from My Hair Academia. So to start off a sculpt, just take a piece of clay and roll it like this. Get it kind of thin, not too thin. And then you want to wet the Lego hairpiece with water or saliva, whatever. Just roll that in all the way around. Make sure that both ends meet. Then you wet it some more. And then you can either try to peel it off like that or just take a knife go under it just like this and it pops off like so and there you got the base then you just pop that in the oven and wait about 10-15 minutes I already had a pre-made one so here you go with that right now it's still warm and as you add pieces it will get tighter too so you don't have to worry about that now what you want to do is to wet the Lego head so it doesn't get stuck when you add the clay Like so. And if you're not fast enough, like me, or just want to get it perfect, just remove it like this and then just keep wetting the sculpt over and over. Like when you add a new piece, like I'm about to do now. So, you know, it doesn't get stuck. Because it dries up pretty quick. And you don't want too much liquid on there because then the pieces won't uh, fuse together that much. And it will not be put together correctly. And all your hard work will be for nothing. Also, if they do get stuck like this, just take your knife or just put some more water underneath if you can. But you can just poke it up like that, no problem. You wet that again. So there you go, and when you smooth it out, use this. Use the palm of your hand right here. I learned that from a video with someone that sculpts uh, doing clay stuff. And it actually works, it smooths it out really well, just removes all the kind of fingerprints and stuff like that. Really nice looking. Just a real nice technique. This part, this side right here, or this right here. Do it very lightly so you don't mess it up. So that looks about right, let's put it in the oven. So when you get the piece out of the oven, make sure that it wasn't deformed or anything, you know, it might be pushing out a little bit or something like that. So just squeeze that together in the right direction or whatever. Like what I'm doing right now, pushing it in uh, so it doesn't stick out. So it's no problem, just when you get it out, just make sure when it's hot to push it. Because when it cools down, it's going to be in the 
shape that you left it in so since he got two different colors of hair I wouldn't normally sculpt you know one side first usually I do the entire back first when it's the same color but right now I'm trying something different so this is kind of a special tutorial not the basic one I suppose but you should get the basic idea I always start with the back the sides and then you do the bangs and then lastly you know if they got say ponytail you do that after you've done everything else all the extra on the hair and stuff always do that last now for the side part take a piece of clay and just stick it like that doesn't have to be perfect or anything remove it wet the hair piece put it on again smooth it out squeeze it in if you don't want it to stick out or anything like that So normally I would do both sides at the same time, uh, add those pieces that I showed you. And then after that, you know, you would have the back right here, you'd have those side pieces right there. And those side pieces makes it possible to either sculpt upwards like this, or just backwards like that. Or the hair that's behind the bangs, like so. You know, you have, you get all those options without having to worry, you know, they will stick. There won't be any difficulties trying to put them on, so. That's why you want those side pieces. Now once you're done with everything, all the component parts, the back, sides, and the uh, bangs, what you want to do then is the top. Because, you know, you haven't sculpted anything on there. And that's usually the last thing that I do. You put some clay on the top, and then you just use lots of pressure when you drag it to all the different areas to smooth it out and link it all together so it looks nice and smooth. And after all that rough work, I take my palm and just start smoothing it out and after that I take some water and whatnot on my finger and I just simply just rub it even more to, just to make it even more smooth and it works well really well so unless you're doing a really complicated sculpt it's pretty much just four times in the oven but if you get extra details sure it goes in the oven a couple more times <laughs> So here we get the red half of Todoroki. Now, all I'm gonna do is do the smoothing thing that I told you about. And that should be it for this video. So put it on top like that. And we actually have uh, another side to the sculpt. Then you put it more in the center, so. This is what you're gonna do. Just squeeze it. Just really just push that in as hard as you can. Like so. And then, just start dragging it down really roughly, so it fills in everything. Remove every, anything excessive, anything that comes off, just remove that. And then just keep dragging it, smooth it. everything it should look like this everything looks fused together nothing looks weird or anything like that it looks very clean so yeah that's pretty much it for this video I hope it's been helpful 
probably not. I'm not that good at explaining things, obviously. But I think the sculpt itself turned out great. And yeah, can't wait to start on his other side. So thank you guys for watching. Like, subscribe, comment, and I will see you guys next time. Mm, bye.